Hi, I'm Kat Barnstone Saffron, and thank you for joining us today as we announce the Barnstone Legacy Patreon Project. I was very lucky to grow up in an artistic home. My mother introduced me to music, and my father, the late Myron Barnstone, was an artist who brought classical design elements to his contemporary work. I grew up with paintings and drawings and photographs on the walls of our homes in Spain, Paris, England, and Pennsylvania. My father did many exhibits that received international attention. Growing up in a Jewish family, the impact of the Holocaust was strong for Myron. My father was a teenager at the height of World War II, and he felt the full force of the horrors of war. He enlisted in the Air Force during the Korean War, and that conflict ended as his ship was en route to the front lines. The Cold War and Vietnam added to Myron's passion to keep the stories of those affected by violent conflict alive through his work. He also abhorred nuclear war and used his canvases to bring an awareness to the need for world peace. An exhibit my father did in Paris called The Survivors gained international acclaim for its fierce anti-war message. While he was on a path to artistic greatness, Myron started feeling a different calling. He was frustrated that art schools in the 70s were starting to emphasize feelings over form, simply encouraging students to do what felt good. From his decades of study and practice, my father knew that to draw well, would-be artists would need a strong foundation in the discipline of geometric design in the golden section that the classical masters studied and practiced. He locked away over 500 original pieces so he wouldn't influence students with his own style and launched what was going to be a 35-year career teaching the fundamentals of design and color. He was tough. Myron's students share stories about enduring his sometimes brutal criticism of their work on the legendary impaling wall. But in retrospect, all agree it was Myron's passionate adherence to excellence that launched so many of them into successful art-related careers. Photographers, animators, sculptors, architects, graphic illustrators, painters, authors, professors, musicians. His alumni have their work in galleries and private collections all around the world. He made videos of his classes and offered them for sale online. Myron finally retired at the age of 81 and died two years later in 2016. It wasn't until after his death that I thought it was appropriate to unlock his archives and start sharing his own work. Most of these pieces have never been seen before. And this is where you can help to keep the Barnstone legacy alive. As the new director, I'm looking forward to telling you all sorts of new programs that are coming ahead of us. We have two main missions. First, the Barnstone Art Education Project to continue Myron's teachings through distributing his videos, having his alumni teach Barnstone Method workshops, enhancing the art curriculum in schools, publishing his essays, and creating student workbooks. The second mission is preserving and exhibiting Myron's original work. He's been compared to Picasso and often included with the School of London artists like Ron Katai, Francis Bacon and Lucian Freud. To me, of course, he's an original. And I know he's thrilled his work is finally getting the positive attention it deserves. Just like Michelangelo and da Vinci were able to create masterpieces with the help of their patrons, Burnstone Studios needs your patronage to continue our mission to enrich people's lives by teaching and providing fine art. To thank you for your support, we will be offering you a host of prizes that you can pick from on our Patreon site. Besides that great feeling that you're going to be part of a proud legacy that links you directly back to the Renaissance and beyond, you will also have a piece of Myron. 
Your donation will help fund the education project, restoring and exhibiting Myron's work, keeping Burnstone Studios up and running so we can help make the world a more beautiful place. Thank you for your consideration, and as Myron would say, be well. <laughs>